What's one of the most difficult decisions you've had to make in building the businesses that you have? I, I think that it's probably treating my business as one big business instead of a bunch of little ones. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, each time I would write a book, I would think about it as, okay, this book is a profit center. I, this book needs to make money for me. And I, you know, I develop a new speech or training class. Okay. That training class needs to be profitable for me. And I think that turned out not to be a very good decision uh, because, you know, I'd get quite, I'd have somebody invite me on their radio show or something and they'd say, uh, Hey, can you give away a few copies of your book to my listeners? And I would, I would run the math and I'd say, well, I make about a dollar fifty, a dollar and fifty cents per book, um, but I have to buy the books for fifteen dollars. So I'd have to sell an extra ten books just to break even. If I give you one book, and if you want me to give you four, I got to sell forty extra copies of that book just because people listen to me on your radio show. I don't think that's going to happen. Like, so that's just not a good business decision for me. And then you know, I, I finally realized, no, that's not the right way to look at it. The books are like a uh, a loss leader, I should just give the books away, honestly, because, you know, if, if just one person reads my book and hires me to give a speech at their company meeting or teach a training class, well, I've made thousands of dollars, right? So I, I finally realized I needed to start treating my business as one big business with some parts that might make money and some parts that might not, instead of trying to micromanage every part of the business that had to be profitable. That